Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen. Welcome to our daily Vespers and please join us in prayer. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, who covers yourself with light as with a garment. You are stretched out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of your chambers on the waters, who makes the clouds your chariot, who rides on the wings of the wind, who makes the winds your messengers, fire and flame your ministers. You set the earth on its foundation so that it should never be shaken. You cover it with a deep as with a garment the water stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled, at the sound of your thunder they took to flight. The mountains rose, the valleys sank down to the place which you appoint for them. You set a bond which they should not pass, so that they might not again cover the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys, they flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field, the wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have the habitation, they sing among the branches. From your lofty abode you water the mountains, the earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for man to cultivate that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted. And then the birds build their nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees, the high mountains are for the wild goats, the rocks are a refuge for the badgers. You have made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness and it is night when all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work or to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works, and wisdom have you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures, yonder is the sea, great and wide, which teems with things innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships in Leviathan, which you formed to sport in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, you are, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they're dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy house and for those who desire to enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most blessed metropolitan deacon, local tenants of the Diocese of New England, for the honorable priest of the Doctrine in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the president of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, 
for every city and country and for the faithful dwelling in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For a seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sake of the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, <clears throat> let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto you, Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you are to all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. In the first song, Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Christos Anesti, Christ is risen, our Messiah come. Bring my soul out of prison that I may give thanks to your name. The righteous await me until you will be abundantly with me. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord, Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, Shemak and Echoes, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you. <clears throat> Fountain of wonders came to the well at noon to ensnare the daughter of Eve. Once Eve had been driven from paradise by the serpent's guile. When our woman of Samaria came to draw water, the Savior saw her and said to her, Give me a drink of water, and I will, will fill you with the waters of eternal life. She ran to the town and proclaimed to the crowd, Come and see the Messiah, the Lord. He is the Savior of our souls. For your name's sake, I wait for you, O Lord. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped on the Lord. My the Lord of compassion came to the well and conversed with a woman of Samaria. She said, Give me your water that I may never thirst again. I will drink from the fountain of joy and redemption. O life-giving Lord, glory to you. From the morning watch and tonight, from the morning watch in Israel, hope on the Lord. The word of the Father, the co-eternal Son without beginning, came and sat by the well, though he is the fountain of healing. A Samaritan woman came to draw water, when the Savior saw her, he said to her, Give me a drink, or call your husband. She thought she was speaking to a man and not God. I have no husband, she said, trying to evade him. But the teacher said, You speak the truth, for you have had five husbands. And the one living with you is not even a husband. She was amazed by his words and ran back to the town. She said to the crowd, come see the Messiah. He grants the world great mercy. For with the Lord there 
his mercy with him as plenteous redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. <clears throat> See the past. O oh, blessed and divinely inspired Father Michael, you have fittingly been granted to behold the source of blessings, the fulfillment of the desire for the utmost of desires, the true blessedness for which all nature truly yearns. How great is your beauty, O glorious one, in which you stand before Christ rejoicing as a radiant horror. Praise the Lord, all nations, praise him, all peoples. A radiant priestly vestments, O God pleasing Father Michael, you hasten to the tribunal of the tyrant. There you offered yourself to Christ, adorned now with double crowns of blessed one. You behold the ranks of hierarchs. How great is the ineffable gladness in which you were truly counted worthy to share. O oh, oh, wise and divinely blessed one. For his mercy is confirmed with us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Sprinkle with dew from on high, O God, be wise, Father Michael. You divinely quench the fire of temptations, passing through it unharmed. Rejoicing, O blessed Hieromartyr, in splendor you join the holy hierarchs who preceded you. How great is the ineffable and brilliant habitation which Christ has given to you as an honored bishop. In the sixth tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Jesus met the Samaritan woman by Jacob's well. He wraps the earth in clouds, yet he asks for water from her. O oh, great wonder, he who rides on the cherubim speaks with an adulterous woman. He who suspended the earth on the waters asks for a drink. He who causes the lakes and springs to overflow is weary with thirst. Truly he desires to set the woman free from the enemy's snares. He drowns her sins in the waters of life, for he alone is the compassionate lover of man. In the fourth tone, now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. The prophet David was a father of the Lord through you, O Theotokos. He foretold in songs the one who worked wonders in you. At your right hand stood the queen, your mother, the mediatrix of life, since God was freely born of her without a father. He wanted to renew his fallen image, make corrupt in fashion. So he took the lost sheep upon his shoulder and brought it to his father joining it to the heavenly powers. Christ, who has great and rich mercy, has saved the world, O Theotokos. O gladsome light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly holy, blessed Jesus Christ, now that we have come to the setting of the sun, and behold the light of evening, we praise God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. For me it is at all times to worship you, with voices of praise, O Son of God, and giver of light. Therefore, all the world glorifies you. With 
Christ of blessed head, the evening proclaiming on us in the seventh tone. You, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. You, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. Deliver me from my enemies, O God. Protect me from those who rise up against me. Deliver me from evildoers and save me from violent men. You, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. See how they lie in wait for me, fierce men conspire against me. For no offense or sin of mine, O Lord, I have done no wrong, yet they are ready to attack me. You, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. But I will sing of your strength, in the morning I will sing of your love, for you are my fortress, my refuge in times of trouble. You, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go before me. O my strength, I sing praise to you. You, O God, are my fortress, my loving God. You, O God, are my helper, and your mercy shall go. Save, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, and make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not despise the works of your hands. To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise, to you belongs glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. All things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, that we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord, a Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and for a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are a good God who loves mankind, and to you we send the glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Peace be unto all. And to you see Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, o Lord. O Lord, our 
Father God, who above the heavens and came down for the salvation of mankind, look upon your servants and upon your inheritance. For to you, the awesome judge, yet loves mankind, have your servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks, awaiting not help from men, but asking your mercy and looking confidently for your salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts and from evil fantasies. For blessed and glorified is the majesty of your kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. In the fourth tone, we glorify your resurrection on the third day, O Christ God, by always honoring your life, creating cross. By it you renewed the corrupted nature of man, O Almighty One. By it you renewed our entrance to heaven, for you are good and the lover of man. The Lord is King, he is robbed in majesty. You loose the tree's verdict of disobedience, O Savior, by being voluntarily nailed to the tree of the cross, by descending to hell, O Almighty God, you broke the bonds of death. Therefore we adore your resurrection from the dead, singing in joy. Glory to you, O all-powerful Lord. For he has established the world so that it shall never be moved. You, you smashed the gates of hell, O Lord, and by your death you demolished the kingdom of death. You delivered the race of men from corruption, granting to the world life in corruption and great mercy. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. By ascending the cross, O Lord, you annulled our ancestral curse. By descending to hell, you freed the eternal prisoners granting incorruption to the human race. Therefore, in songs we glorify your life, creating and saving resurrection. In the eighth tone, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In your unsearchable plan, O Christ God, you were seen on earth when the woman of Samaria heard your words, O lover of man. She left her jar at the well and ran to the town. She said, Come and see him who knew every secret hidden in my heart. Could he be the long-awaited Messiah who will grant the world great mercy? Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles and to be the glory of your people, Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. When the women disciples of the Lord learn from the angel the joyous message of the resurrection, 
They cast away the ancestral curse, and elatedly told the apostles, Death is overthrown, Christ God is risen, granting the world good mercy. From your youth, having dedicated your life to God, you were proclaimed shepherd and hierarch of Christ. O holy Michael, because of your honoring the icon of Christ, you endured exile and many afflictions. Now you pour forth healing to are all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You gave your wealth to the poor, despising the ranks of princes and the temporal betrothal. You betrothed yourself to Christ your bridegroom, and your wealth with spiritual and bodily purity. Now as you stand before him, remember us to venerate you, O Ephrosine. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. The mystery hidden from all eternity, unknown even to the angels, has been revealed in you, O Theotokos, to those who live on earth. The incarnation of God in the flesh without confusion, the voluntary suffering and crucifixion for our sake, to raise Adam whom he fashioned, and to save our souls from death. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our most blessed Metropolitan Tea Combo, companions of the Diocese of New England, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, <clears throat> for all our brethren in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable Holy Orthodox <clears throat> Patriarchs, for the blessed and ever memorable founders of our Holy House, for all of our parents and brethren, the Orthodox depart of this life before us, especially the minded Archpriest Nicholas, the Archpriest Paul, Matryoshka, Nina, Nicholas, Joseph, Boris, Alan, Jasmine, Stephen, George, Annabelle, and Huda, and, for, and the who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, light, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all the brethren of our community, those that we hold in our hearts and in our minds, for those suffering for their Orthodox faith and those lying out of bit of sickness in need of healing, especially the priests James, Matushki, Natasha, Anastasia, Macrina, the servants of God, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Anastasia, Sonia, Roseanne, Elaine, Catherine, Delia, Maria, Corey, Damien, Joseph, Kira, Louise, Lucy, David, Anna, Carol, Dorothy, James, and John, those known to be suffering from the coronavirus, Stephen, Nona, Deborah, mm -hmm. Elizabeth, Gabriel, Olga, Carol, Ann, Ron, Megan, Kevin, Arcady, and Michael, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Oh, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray that the Lord our God, in his mercy and providential care for us, will call forth for our Diocese of New England, a true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an arch pastor to care for the well-being of our diocese and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith in loving service to one another and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in your holy and all venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present with us who await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you 
are a merciful God and love mankind. And to you we send a glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God, Almighty Lord of heaven and earth and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon us, your people gathered in your holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. You know our weakness. You hear our cry of repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the present threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians and preserve those who are uh, physicians, nurses, all of our caregivers, the chaplains ministering to them, and the military reserves supporting them. We pray also for those developing vaccines and treatments and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, mm -hmm. and unto ages of ages. Wisdom. Christ our God, the existing, is blessed always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Preserve, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and Orthodox Christians, unto ages of ages. Most holy Theotokos save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious be our compare than the seraphim. Without defilement you gave birth to God, the Word, through Theotokos we magnify you. Glory to you, O Christ our God, and our sure hope, glory to you. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the truth bestowing life. His thoughts was passing, he spared me. Smear to you, smear for from ye soon for no verse ye both are of love. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the truth be so we May he who is risen from the dead, Christ our true God, through the prayers of his most pure mother, of our holy, glorious, and right, victorious martyrs, of our holy, glorious, and laudable apostles, of our fathers among the saints, St. Michael, the confessor, bishop of Synoda, and Aphrosina, princess of Polots, first saint of Belarus, who we commemorate today, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Christ is risen. Indeed he is risen. Christos was Christos Christos Christ is risen, risen from the, the dead, dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tomb bestowing wine. Christos was Christos, and his mercy was mepoprom, Jesus shimoro beshivot arobom. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tomb bestowing wine. Al Messiah come. I can come. So, uh, for those who would like to uh, follow the services for the minor archpriest Nicholas Timko, the funeral services in the morning, uh, they will begin at 9 a.m., and I believe they will be live streamed through the Three Saints Facebook page. So we will do our best to put that link up on our uh, church uh, Facebook page as well. Uh, because of the coronavirus, only a very small number are being allowed uh, to come to church, but at least we're able to have uh, a church service in the church that Father Nicholas served in for 27 years, uh, dedicating his life to the, the faithful there. Uh, tomorrow evening, uh, we'll begin our weekend services already for the sixth week of Pascha. So we will have Vespers at 5 p.m. And then on Sunday morning, our Obednitsa at 9 a.m. Uh, so please join us for those services uh, coming up over the weekend. God bless and keep you uh, as we continue through these days and as we enter into the maze of reopening uh, our daily life to closer to what it used to be, that it be uh, hopefully steps that are helpful for us, that are uplifting for us to 
come together once again and not increasing uh, fear and anxiety as we have been through a lot already. God bless and be with each of you. And unto us he has given eternal life. Let us worship his resurrection on the third.